Diabetes, also known as diabetes mellitus, is a disease in which the blood sugar or glucose is too high. When a person eats food, particularly containing carbohydrates, it turns into glucose or sugar. Insulin is a hormone secreted from the body, which serves as a key and allows the cells to enter, I mean, allows the glucose to enter the cells, thereby producing energy. As per the Indian Council of Medical Research, India study, the prevalence of diabetes in India is about 10.1 crores, out of which 57 persons remain undiagnosed. In diabetes, there is either defective insulin secretion or whatever is being secreted is not properly utilized, that is known as insulin resistance. There are two types of diabetes mainly, type 1 diabetes where there is absolute insulin deficiency and in type 2 diabetes there is a progressive loss of adequate insulin secretion in an, in the background of insulin resistance. Now in diabetes, what are the symptoms and signs? They, that could be uh, excessive hunger and fatigue, excessive thirst and increased urination, blurred vision, delayed wound healing, there can be numbness and tingling, pain in the hands and toes and feet and in the limbs. There can be also fungal infection involving the in between the fingers, in between the toes, under the breast and sexual organs. Now when a person has a high blood sugar for a prolonged period of time, it can lead to uh, injury to most of the vital organs starting from brain, eyes, heart, kidney and as well as the nerves. To diagnose diabetes, one should have a blood sugar fasting more than 126 and after food sugar should be more than 200 and a normal fasting blood sugar is less than 100 and after food sugar being less than 140. The thing is that diabetes is not only a sugar control issue but it is much beyond that. The longer you have diabetes and the less control your diabetes is, you can it can lead to disabling and life-threatening complications. Possible complications starting from head to toe are it can cause brain injury, thereby resulting in stroke, increased risk of stroke. There can be uh, decline in cognitive function like uh, intelligence, memory and uh, decision making power. There can be depression. Now coming to the eyes, it can cause early cataract. It can cause increase in eye pressure leading to glaucoma, which can in turn lead to blindness. There can be damage to the vessels of the retina leading to diabetic retinopathy. Again, it will lead to blindness. Then coming to the heart, there can be increased risk of having a heart attack and heart failure. Coming to the liver, there can be liver injury in terms of uh, developing a condition called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease in which it leads to excessive fat accumulation in the liver resulting in liver failure as a result of cirrhosis and it can affect the kidneys resulting in the condition called diabetic nephropathy where the patient can uh, it can lead to patient can have end stage renal disease resulting in uh, leading needing sorry needing this uh, dialysis or kidney transplantation it can affect the sexual organs leading to decreased libido and ejection and uh, erection, erectile dysfunction and also premature ejaculation. It can also affect the nerves. It can affect the nerves of the stomach leading to diabetic gastroparesis, leading to indigestion and constipation. And it can affect the autonomic nerves also. Then it can affect the foot and there can be uh, leading to foot infections which can sometime uh, the person can land in uh, I mean lead to amputation of the toes or the feet. Apart from that, there can be uh, fungal infections of the body, particularly the genital organs and the skin. It can also cause life-threatening bacterial infections also.